In today's episode, I'm going to show you this cool little centering tool with a pencil. You just slide it across the board and it makes a perfectly centered line. I'll show you how I made this on today's Filament Friday. So this is actually a really easy tool to make and incredibly handy. I did it in Tinkercad just by creating a block and then two posts and then a hole to hold the pencil. And then I printed it in PLA on my DaVinci Junior. Now after I did this, I found another one on Thingiverse. And so that one's a little bit smaller and I'll show you how I made that one on my Fabricator Mini. So first, let me start by showing you how I made this in Tinkercad. So here's the final design in Tinkercad. And it looks pretty good, pretty simple, as you can tell. And this is all grouped together. But I started with a grid that was 150 by 150 millimeters, which is the size of the Da Vinci Junior. And then let me build another one here right in front of you. It's 130 millimeters long, 20 millimeters deep, and 43 millimeters tall. So I started with a block that was 20 millimeters deep and I made it 130 millimeters long and 23 millimeters tall. And then I moved the work plane to the top of this block and then brought in a cylinder. Now the cylinder I made it at 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters, so it was 10 millimeters in diameter and I left it 20 millimeters tall. Then I just duplicated it and slid the duplicated unit down to the end and then I positioned these things so we're almost to the end of the block. Then I duplicated it again, but made it 8 millimeters by 8 millimeters and turned it into a hole and made it really tall at 50 millimeters so I could move it down and go all the way through the block. And I pretty much have the design set. The only thing left to do is center things. So I'll grab the block and then the hole and I'll center that in the X and the Y direction. So now the, the hole is centered to the block. But these two posts, I first got to group them together so they become one unit. And then grab that and the block and align those centered to the X and Y direction. And then once I've got that all done, I just need to group these guys together and it'll be a finished design. So I'll grab a corner and just drag a box all the way around it, hit group, and there it is. As you can see, two almost identical units. The posts are a little bit off, but it's not, it doesn't matter. They're centered, and that's the main thing. And from there, I just, um, well, I'll delete this one I just made, but from there, I just download for 3D printing as an STL file, and it's ready to load into XYZWare. So once I load into XYZWare, then I hit the export button, and I chose to make this. Uh, 20% fill, a 0.3 layer height, and standard shells and speed. Actually, let's make it uh, thick shells. That way it kind of holds the pencil better. No supports, and click export, and it's sliced away. And here's the result. Little over, just under 5 hours, and 14 meters, almost 15 meters of plastic. So I had this. I'm ready to send it to the Da Vinci Junior. So here's the other one I found on Thingiverse. It's by user Votus and he calls it a center finder. So I loaded the .stl file into my Simplify 3D slicing software and centered it to the platform and now I just needed to edit the process settings which is where you set your nozzle diameter, your, your slicing, your fill and I just used a profile that I have for the Fabricator Mini and you can download this from my website. So it shows a 0.4 nozzle and extrusion multiplier of just 1.0. Now the infill, I had it set to the 20%, but I also let it put a solid layer at a fixed rate. And then temperature was 225 degrees because I am printing with ABS, not PLA. And so once I had that, I clicked OK, and then I just clicked Prepare to Print. And I had my design, so all I needed to do was send it to my printer. It said build time of only 55 minutes and 3.4 meters of plastic. Mm. 
So here's the unit off the Fabricator Mini, and it's got the raft on it that I like to use when I'm printing ABS. This is ABS, where the bigger one was PLA. But the raft with Simplify 3D really breaks off easy and leaves me a nice smooth bottom, just a few strings. Now what they did is they tunneled it or, or funneled it or angled it, however you want to call it, down to a tip instead of just a straight hole. My design re relies on the pencil, the lead being the center of the hole because it's the center of the pencil. Where they did theirs with a funnel shape and goes down to a point. The problem is the point, although I can see through it when I hold it to the light, it's so tiny, I'm going to have to actually drill that out. And then as far as a pencil going into it, it'll still work, but then I have to hold the pencil as I do it. But let me drill this hole out and then we'll try it. Okay, so I drilled the hole out just with my power drill and it's just big enough for the lead of my pencil to stick through. So now in order to do this, I, I pivot it so it's hitting against both sides and I put the pencil in and then just pull it across the wood. If I do one hand while I hold the board, and there it is, a nice centered line. Now I could have done that with my bigger one, like this with the pencil in place. Okay, I'll show you. I'll put the slide the pencil in and it fits pretty tight. But I can't get as far down because of how how wide it is, but I'll just go right on top of it. And you can see it's the same line. So they're both working. They're both centering the line perfectly. So either tool works, it's just the smaller one works better for the smaller wood like this or smaller width. And then the wider one works better for the wider wood. Now I do like the wider one better with the holding the pencil. Because if I had to hold the pencil and do this one, I think I'd be, you know, wiggling too much. So I think this is a better design for that versus a smaller. So I might redo this one and make it fit the pencil tighter. I may have to make it taller in order to do that. Or I may just stick with this, make a smaller version of this. I don't know, but they both work great. So I really enjoyed this one because it's a useful print, but it's very simple print. And it's a great way to get started with Tinkercad. So rather than download my file, which I'll put a link to it in the description, I suggest you try and design it yourself if you want to make your own. And then you can do maybe rounded edges or different thickness, however you want. Make it customized to you. So anyway, that's all I got for this week. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching and you want to see more. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar to my Patreon account at their link up here, it goes a long way. So that's all I've got for now. I'll see you next week on Filament Friday.